Hello, Leos. Welcome to your love reading for November 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below if you are on YouTube or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's see what's going on with you all. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide the truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insights for Leos for love for November 24th? What do you see? What do they want to know? To reach our higher ground, we come closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages. Any messages, please, would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What are the energies that Leo passed out of prior to November? We have the Queen of Swords in the reversed. Uh, make sure you check out your video reading in the link below if you're on YouTube. I'll have your extra extra in there. It's kind of a Halloween theme. Who is haunting you? Why were you ghosted? And what do you need to bury? So that's what will be in the video reading. Your energies for November is the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. In my YouTube playlist, your 2024 Sun Moon readings. 2025 sun moon readings sorry continue to put your request in the comments i will put your request out um i will also put you in queue 2024s are still in there see if they rang true for you or someone you know we end on which one is this one? Oh, the nine is this the nine is this the nine yes okay the nine of swords in reverse Alrighty, and then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend and support of my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. Okay, so Leo, so what I'm seeing prior to um, November, um, there's a person who I don't think is being very kind. Um, their MO is typically using using words that are very harsh, very slicing. Uh, somebody who just is incapable of not like being a loose cannon. So, you know, the things that they say are really mean, really vengeful. Um, you know, they can attack you out of nowhere and you can be like, what just happened? Um, you know, put demands on you. I mean, it's not a very nice person, okay? Um, I feel as though it is a person that you're dealing with. I mean, it could be, could be, um, you know, person in your relationship. It could be their ex. Um, but I'm just getting a really strong sense that whatever this person had to say, it wasn't very nice. Um, and, and it really hurt, hurt you in a lot of ways. And I'll tell you what, if they were saying anything to criticize you, then forget about it because that's something that you will not absolutely not put up with. In November, I see you as the seven of pentacles in the upright. So, <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't mean to be sounding like that. Um, so I, I see you kind of saying to yourself, well, I put a lot of history into this person. I invested a lot into this person, but there's a real independence that's kind of going along with it too. I feel as though um, you know you have the option to walk away if you want to. You're trying to figure out, is it even worth putting the time into this person? Um, I feel like this person wasn't always like this. I feel like they kind of turned for some reason, but I don't know what caused them to kind of turn. So here you are kind of contemplating whether or not you're going to do that. Um, but like I said, I feel like you've put a fair amount of work into the connection. So you just don't want to walk away from it entirely. And I, and I think that's your kindness and your generosity and, and things of that nature um, that are happening there. And then when we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, as you go out of November and December, my sense that you're getting, that I'm getting, is that you really have faith that you guys are going to come out of this. So I feel as though, you know, you're saying as bad as it is right now, you know, as bad as, you know, um, you know, um, feelings and thoughts are at this present time, I really kind of think, you know, it's possible to kind of come out of this. Um so, I mean, that's good. I mean, and, and usually you all stay very positive. You bounce back from hardships really easily, um, you know, or optimistic. So it's very possible. But let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? And I did get that this person could be someone that's um, influencing your present relationship. So maybe it is somebody that's, um, you know, your your lover's um, ex or something like that. And they have a lot of things to say that aren't very nice. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's an actual person. So why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy for Leo? Additional messages. Or it could be an ex of yours who's actually being like this. And the Knight of Cups and the Upright. 
the moon card in the upright, which is the card of Pisces, digital message, please, and the king of wands in the upright. So the weird thing with this person, I feel as though, even though they're like this, it's like I said, they either weren't always like this or they aren't like this all the time. And I feel at times they can be very romantic and, um, you know, maybe they know that they behave like this and then what they did was they bought you flowers or they said, hey, let's go on a picnic or, you know, swept you off to St. Martin or I don't know why I thought of St. Martin, but I think because I saw it in a movie just recently. Um, but I feel as though they just, you know, have a way of just turning things around and you really kind of connect to them at that level. Very dreamy, like the fairy tale. When they're like that, all is forgotten, I feel, or all was forgotten. But the moon card in the upright tells me that this person has issues um, that you necessarily aren't going to be able to fix. I mean, they're hidden. Um, they might actually suppress them. Um, it's usually, for the moon card in the upright for me, it could be somebody who has um, psychological you know, issues or disturbances that they really need to go get counseling for um, and need help kind of confronting these things and weeding them out. Things that are, you know, in their you know, deeply embedded in their subconscious or their, the, um, that they can't, like I said, they can't do by the, they can't get rid of by themselves. So, I mean, it's almost like they're tormented in one way because of the two sides that they have to them. And the King of Wands in the upright, again, shows another quality of this person. I mean, you've known and you've seen them to be, um, you know, a great leader to inspire people to, you have a very passionate connection with this person. I mean, there's really, really good things about them. So I feel as though you were kind of, I don't know, you give them a pass on some things because when they blow up and they kind of say these things, you know them to be somebody else. So, but I mean, we have to realize that that's still a part of their being. Um, so why is the Suite of Pentacles here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages. Why is the Sweet of Pentacles? Okay, Queen of Swords in the upright. So I do see you confronting this person and kind of saying, listen, what do you want here? What is your deal? Um, you know, I'll stick by you. We can work through, if you're willing to work through this, but you have to be truthful. You have to be very honest. You have to have full disclosure with me because I don't have time for any more of this foolishness. I feel as though you're approaching them and you're being a little bit, a little bit cool about it. A little bit, you know, keeping a little bit of distance, not kind of, you know, dumping your heart into it. You're just being all business with them and wanting to know what's, go on, what's going on. We have the Ace of Cups in the upright along with the Knight of Wands in the upright. So again, I feel like they have a habit of saying the right things. I mean, um, the Ace of Cups, with the Ace of Cups, they're saying, hey, let's press a reset on this. We can do this over again. I can give you everything that you want. The marriage, the child, the proposal, you know, really romanticizing things to you um, and making it seem like you guys can do a do-over. So I feel like they're trying to persuade you or they're doing a sell or trying to convince you in some way when you do try to ask them what's going on. And the Knight of Wands in the upright is again, you realizing there's an aspect to this person that you find wildly attractive. They're very adventurous. They're very thrilling. They're very, um, you know, passionate. And these are things that you like about this person and you're having a really difficult time kind of letting go of that. They're a very fiery individual and you kind of like that. So I mean, do feel that you believe much of what they say, um, if not all of it. So why is... Why is the Nine of Swords here in reverse for Leos? As they move out of November into December, we have the Queen of Wands in the reversed. We have the Three of Pentacles in the upright. I got relationship counseling for that card. And we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So like we said here, you're still trying to have faith. You're still trying to be optimistic about it. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, though, however, I feel as though you're starting to um, kind of doubt or lose confidence that this this is actually going to work out the way that you'd like it to. Another thing that's bothering you is the way that this person is being is kind of reflecting on you, and you're very much about how it's making you look. You don't like it. It's not a good look for you. So this is a concern you have. What are other people going to think of me? Are they going to think less of me if I, you know, continue on with this? So you do have that in the in the back of your mind um three of pentacles in the upright is you getting help the two of you getting help from a third party so i do feel as though uh, everyone's kind of working together working really hard to try to make this partnership succeed so and, and i'm getting the sense it's almost as though um 
you know, last ditch effort. It's like, you don't want to walk away from it if you didn't at least try. And then if that doesn't work that out, then you can say to yourself, well, at least I tried, you know, I gave it my all. Um, so that's kind of getting thrown in here. And the uh, four of pentacles in the reverse, which is strange, I don't usually get this, but I almost feel as though some of the talks that are going on with this person is that they need to let go of a lot of issues that they have and, and they're scared to let go of them for some reason. Um, but it, it's kind of like just release, release, you know, how you're being and why you're hold why you're holding on to Leo, because I feel that they are. And, you know, address these things of why you're kind of being like this and realize that it's not okay and that they must be released. So, um, that's what I'm kind of getting for your general reading, even though it was a little, little kind of took a while for me to put the pieces together. But if it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below if you're on YouTube or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on your Vimeo link below in YouTube for your extra extra. This year, is a, I mean, this month is a Halloween theme. In that reading, I'll have who is haunting you, why were you ghosted, what do you need to bury, in my playlist for your 2025 sun moon readings that will continue to come out, continue to put your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. 2024s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or someone you know. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. That's always, always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Leos, I will see you in your Vimeo reading next. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.